Ooh wee. Sheesh. I like that ride in my two seater. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So in today's video. I'm going to be uh, installing the water lines for my Garrett GT3070R Turbo. It's a mouthful, but let's get right into it. This is a Garrett GT3076, I believe. If I'm if I said that wrong, I throw the correction up there. Um, it's rated for about 570 or something like that, somewhere around that range. Um, and this is the dual ball bearing with the water cooled. Uh, set up so I'll go more into depth uh, as we go along but just a quick look at what I'm gonna be using um, it's a water line kit um, comes with the two uh, braided steel lines the fittings um, this actually has nothing to do with what we're doing this is a 10 an line T fitting with some 10 an barb with a 5 8 uh, push um, barbs and then this is a 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. adapter. And this is a tap, drilling tap for this fitting. And like I said, I'm gonna go into detail as we go along, but that's pretty much what I got in the kit. Um, by the end of this video, if it's something that you're looking to do, um, I'll have a link in the description to all these parts. If for some weird reason, this is your first video tuning into the build, um, this, is my 96 uh, Honda Prelude SI originally. Originally came with an H23 motor, non VTEC, swapped in an H22 VTEC, and oof, the unit. Look at the unit. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me about this manifold. Uh, this is an 850 Fab um, manifold. Very beautiful, man. What we're really here for. Garrett GT3076R dual ball bearing turbo. Sheesh. She looks good, man. But yeah, man, um, this will be my first. This will be my first ball bearing turbo, dual ball bearing turbo. Um, but uh, the reason why we're here is because this turbo and turbos like it have um, four ports in the center, so you have your oil feed naturally you'll have your oil return on the bottom but then you have these two other ports here and let me see if i can get the other one uh, right here those are your water ports so this turbo is water cool which is why we're here today um but this is pretty much the setup man so the game plan is um on the h22s you have um, basically a water line. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it on camera. It's, <laughs> it's not down there because I already took it out. This is it. Um, so this hose runs from the um, the firewall right. Let me see if I can get right there. It runs from the firewall down to the back of the block on the driver's side. All right, so. Basically, that's where this T fitting comes in. This is gonna be the feed for the for the water line. So yeah, this is uh, like I said, it's a 10 AN line T fitting. Um, I got these two barb fittings, and I I did some research, and this tube is 5 eighths, so that fits in there perfectly. So basically, what I'll do is this end I think goes into the block which is gonna be where this is gonna be. So basically I'm gonna cut out some tubing that's gonna replace this section. And um, I'll be able to run some AN line from this. Um, the plan is to run it from where it'll be like pretty much right under the manifold right there, wrap it around, and then basically run it to the turbo from the bottom side. And then this side will be the uh, outlet. And the outlet we're gonna run into more than likely we're gonna run into this so we bought that drill so we're gonna drill and tap either here or maybe on top here make it simple so the water will flow out of the turbo into this back into the radiator 
And I got my handy dandy helper with me today. What's up, Jace? Say, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna help me out today. Good, my shorty fly, my whip clean. Baby, let me spray your nipples with the whipped cream. I'm at the bar, sponge bobbing with the rib jeans. All right, so as you can see, um, this is the fabbed up part. You know what I'm saying? I trimmed a little bit of the hose off to try to make up for distance, but yeah, so this side goes to the block. This is the T. This will run up to the heater. Um, Inlet on the uh, firewall, and uh, that's the first part we got done. So let's move on to the next. All right, so I got the the water neck pretty much off, and X marks the spot. So that drill and tap kit that I showed you guys. All right, so in the uh, in the water um, line kit comes two of these fittings. Um, this side's the 6AN, and this side is the M14 by 1.5 thread. And so I got the um, the matching drill and tap kit for that. So for some reason, I completely forgot to mention one of the other main things that you're going to need is a 6AN line kit. Um, all of this stuff, fittings coming off the turbo are 6AN. Um, and you're gonna need a 6 a.m. line kit um, to do the job. I don't know why I forgot to mention that, but anyway, uh, so I got that. Um, this came in the water line kit, steel braided lines. I would assume that uh, because of all the heat coming off the turbo and the manifold, you're gonna want the steel braided lines um, at least to get some distance from the heat. Um, and then from there, they got the barbed fittings on here, which will fit the a and the 6 a in line uh hose to run throughout the rest of the car yes sir yeah i got a little kink in it but um i don't think it'll be an issue i might just replace this little piece i cut because that's kind of got like a little bend to it anyway i might replace that with a straight piece but we in there you know what i'm saying got the 6 a in line uh Got the 6 a.m. line running up. We got to go up top. All right, so back up top, I got the a.m. line that comes from the T wrapped around and routed up to the feed on the water line. Now, uh, they say that the inlet and outlet doesn't really matter as far as the side, but what does matter is you probably can't tell, but the turbo is actually clocked. A little bit backwards it's not straight up and down so they actually recommend um, for install that you clock the turbo um, 20 degrees and whatever side is the lower side which in my case is gonna be the back side the lower side is gonna be the feed so just remember that and then the outlet um, will be the return so um, only thing to note uh, if you do end up getting the kit that's in um, the description, I recommend grabbing a 6AN to 6AN mail to mail fitting. Um, originally, it came with the 6AN to barb fitting, but that barb fitting doesn't fit 6AN line, so it's not going to work. Um, but if you like I said, so I would definitely grab, which is not in the kit, but grab two of these six AN mail to mail fittings. That's gonna go in here. Uh, my bad. That's gonna go in here, and then that'll allow you to run an AN line straight to this fitting. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I already, uh, I didn't record it, but I made up these AN lines. Obviously, this one was ran from the back, and I made this one. So I'm gonna get all this fitted up, and then yeah, on to the next step, pretty much. Ooh, wee.
Yeah, man. I, I think, I mean, compared to a journal bearing turbo where it's only an oil feed in turn, it's a lot going on, but <laughs> it makes it look pretty vicious. So, um, I did put coolant in it, and I can already see that this fitting right here is leaking a little bit. So, I'm gonna try to address that. But other than that, man, I'm done. Um, like I said, I do have a spare piece. I might actually use the other one. I might do something a little different. But um, like I said, aside from that, man, it's pretty much plumbed up, and I like it. Super water cooled, super sun, Gary Turbo. <laughs> but yeah, man. That's pretty much it. That's how you run your water lines to your Garrett GT3076 water cool turbo. Trying me is like a suicide. Cause I'm the truth. If you go against the truth, then you will lie. My credit good, my shorty fly, my whip clean. My credit good, my shorty fly, my whip clean.